cold sanity stretches the prison in your mind that stops me from seeing that you're just tiny little cogs in a giant absurd machine. Wake up! Oh, time to go. But don't worry, we'll be back very soon. Hang on to your hats, folks, because you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Want to see his face if you can't do this? You know, you make an interesting point. They want to see your face. That is quite a story. You know, I know I've been dead, but doesn't that seem kind of crazy to you? Hey, maybe you're dreaming. Try shooting yourself. Huh. Huh. Nah. Hey, tell me more about this cult. They think I'm pretty great. Huh? They're a bunch of raving lunatics and idiots. Lunatics and idiots? Ooh, my kind of people. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going between you and Jimbo? Huh? You still together, or...? No. 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 That's a shame. I really liked you guys. Hey, what happened? He killed my husband on our wedding night. <laughs> Glad you find it funny. I do. <laughs> I get why you don't. The old Galavan killed me, that juggier Judas. Well, suppose I should start by killing him. The old Galavan's dead. No. Who beat me to it? W which time? Galavan came back to life, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that son of a bitch is always upstaging me. Well, guess I'm just missing one thing, then. Where is my face? Yeah, the whole cutting off your face. Oh. Uh -oh. Buddy, you brought me back from the dead. What's it cut off? Face between friends. <laughs> I guess that's true. You guessed right. Bingo. What are we, what are we doing? Ah. You'll see. Leave it to dying to give you a whole new perspective on life. And I would like to share that with you. Uh, oh, officer, you look terrible. Hey, you got... <laughs> He's at the power plant across the river. You'll never make it in time. Go to the roof, let me call the chopper. We need a bird to go now. Oh, I remember 
Angeles days. So many exciting new emotions flowing through you, wanting to kill everyone you saw. Oh. You, give me. You know, I will never understand rich people's tastes. It's worthless. My father found it at a flea market. I keep it for sentimental reasons. Nice try. Oh, it's got some heft to it. Expensive, I'm guessing. The idea of slitting that pretty pink throat of yours. Figure that'd clear the decks. What do you think, huh? Joy, yeah. I remember that night when you took over the benefit. You were quite the showman. Thank you. Always nice to be appreciated. And you're just going to kill me here? It's kind of disappointing. You're saying I need an audience? <sighs> Look, I know you're just trying to buy time so you can escape. But your point is still valid. Sound up, boys! We're taking the show on the road! And I know just the spot. Come on. <laughs> Not you, old chap. The Prince of Gotham deserves a public death. His butler? Not so much. Kill him. No! Bruce! Shush. Need to concentrate. A few dozen brainwashed maniacs can't keep the city hostage forever. Well, duh. So what's the point? The point is that all these people out here, looting, robbing, killing, they're the people who wash your car, who pour your coffee, who take out your trash. And what happened the moment the lights went out? Yo. Did that hurt? Not much. We tried. Come <laughs> on. 